I'm Katrina, I'm 28 years old um, and I come from Scotland. Uh, so when I'm not cycling, um, I work as a doctor. Where I live in Scotland um, is like oh, right in the uh, mountain biking country. Um, and so from a very young age, probably four or five, um, I was mountain biking with my dad. So that was my first love. Um, and then when I went to university, I went on a cycle tour around Iceland with a group of um, four girls um, who we were all very good friends. And yeah, from, from that point onwards, I kind of fell in love with. Um, after Iceland, um, yeah, cycle toured lots around Scotland and the Scottish Islands and cycled um, across Europe, so Croatia, Slovenia, Austria. Um, Hungary, Slovakia, uh, the Grand Traverse of the Alps in Switzerland, France, Italy, uh, cycled in Cambodia, and my biggest trip was in South America, um, across Argentina and Chile, um, from Salta down to Ushuaia. Yeah, sometimes I have friends with me and sometimes cycling alone. Um, it's always really, really nice to have friends or people with you, um, but um, Sometimes that's not possible and I think there's definitely a lot to be gained and learned from cycling by yourself as well. So both are good. For me, I think you'll receive better as, um, as a female, either alone or, or with people. I think, um, yeah, I think people, people look out for you a lot um, as, a, as a girl cycling. When they see you, they think of um, either their sister or girlfriend or mother or something on a bike. Mother, <laughs> that's really old. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, and so and so they want to kind of look after you, which I I don't think you get the same um, if you're a guy. Yeah, so I'm a terrible planner. Um, so normally I get an idea in my head, and it's an idea that kind of carries through more than meticulous planning um, but yeah so um, yeah so if I get an idea about the country so I really wanted to go to Patagonia and had seen lots and lots of photographs and then um, did, did a bit of reading lots of vlogs and stuff um, to plan but mostly it's just winging it and if you have a, an idea of I want to see this place this place and this place then it's just about joining up some beautiful roads along the way It's really difficult often to judge safety. Um, I think that unfortunately most of the stories that you hear and people want to tell you are bad stories. Um, everyone's always coming up with stories about well, lots of horrible things that have happened to people and how unsafe everything is and how you're going to get mugged and murdered. Um, and my experience is that's not normally true. Trying to not overestimate risks and scare yourself um, but yeah just being sensible and I think if you trust your judgment you can judge situations quite quickly very well and you can judge people very well and um, like 99.9% .9 of the people you meet are wonderful people. Overall everyone has just been so amazing um, and yeah like every car that stops and pulls over and asks you if you've got enough water and um, like lots of people stop and like just shout like welcome to our country and like everyone is so welcoming and I think um, yeah I think there's lots and lots of people who have invited us into their homes and um, put us up and shared whatever they have and often in countries like this and um, people don't have much um, and just share it with random cycling strangers is really quite amazing. <laughs> the roads are by far the most dangerous thing. <laughs> like, um, definitely it's not the people that you have to worry about, it's the roads um, and yeah the trucks in particular. Um, so yeah 
that's the most that's the horrible thing. I really don't like cycling on busy roads or roads without a hard shoulder with lots of trucks passing you. Um, yeah, I think that's the most, biggest danger of being killed is by being hit by a truck. I always try and pick the quieter roads and if I'm cycling along a road and it feels horrible, I get off that road as soon as possible. So I think the nicer and more beautiful and more kind of off the beaten track roads are often the quieter ones and they're the ones I like to cycle on anyway. Be a steep hill any day. <laughs> yeah, I can't stand headwinds. The wind really is something that can make me miserable on a bike. Um, but yeah, no, I love to climb. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely take a hill. So there's practical things, I suppose, like tents and pen knife. Pen knife I would never be anywhere without. Um, for me, a down jacket, like my down jacket, I like just live constantly in that, and it's totally filthy. But it's so warm and cosy, and whenever I put it on, I feel just really, really comfortable and snug. Most of my the country that I cycled through, water at some point has been difficult. Um, so on this trip, I think I've averaged maybe washing once a week, um, which is pretty disgusting, and then pretty gross. Um, yeah, so maybe about once a week or so we'll come to take a campsite. I love food, but I'm not a fussy eater. Um, so for me it's just important to have food as fuel on the road. Um, and then I like to like, I like to taste the foods of the countries, but I'm not cooking it. Um, so yeah, I would just cook pasta and tomato sauce um, as a staple and I would live off pasta and tomato sauce for months and months on end. Ah, uh, so this is the thing, I, that's how I kind of survive, I really, um, I find it difficult as well to eat when it's hot and you're cycling so much, so like there is nothing better than cold soft drinks for like sugary, sugary goodness. Um, oh, I could drink easily about a litre. One is so climbing up a pass that we hadn't really prepared for, that we got to the 4,000, yeah, 4,000 plus meters, um, and in so this was in Argentina, um, and it was like a dirt road. There was no um, there was no cement on it, and it was also not used by anyone, so it wasn't really passable by cars um, at all. Um, so there was no one else on it, and. We climbed for about three days up and we just really weren't that well prepared for it going that high and then my bike broke um, and so we duct taped and paracorded and bungeed the bike together and managed to get everything on it again but by this point the road was so bad that we were having to push the bikes but the bikes were so heavy that we couldn't push them individually so it was taking two of us to push a bike and we would push a bike 100 meters and then go back and get the next bike and push it 100 meters and um, we did that for 12 hours in the day and like you were so high that every step was just you were getting short breath at every step and then I was altitude sick <laughs> and, and I was just vomiting every few meters as well and then also the stove broke so we had no food to eat and um, all we had was biscuits but we had to ration the biscuits, so we had like half a packet of biscuits a day um, for three days, pushing the bikes for 12 hours a day with me vomiting, and I thought I was going to die. There was one point where I thought I was being really melodramatic, but I had to turn to my friend and, say, and tell her to go on and leave me, and, then, and, um, and just yeah, just to save herself. Um, but yeah, we eventually did make it. Um, and yeah, all was okay, but it, it was awful. Um, it was a really good, again, a really good experience, but at the time I thought I was going to, to die potentially. Uh, so I have loved everywhere I've been. I think every country is really, really cool in its own way. Um, and 
yeah, so it's difficult to pick out one country over another. Yeah, when it's snowing and cold and wet and windy and someone lets you come and sit by their fire, that's, that's really appreciated. I don't know, um, I think that I, lo I just love cycling um, and so I, I cycle because I love to cycle and I wouldn't cycle if I didn't. Um, there's nothing, <coughs> I wouldn't cycle if I didn't. There's nothing um, that's making me be here or forcing me to, me to do this. Um, and so, yeah, if, if I'm not having fun, then I stop. Um, but of course you have some tough days, but I'm pretty determined. Um, and yeah, things like heat or hills don't really deter me. I love cycling, it makes life simple and fun and adventure.